morning, thank you for joining me. I hope everybody is well today. Today I have another over 50 plus size fashion haul and try on video for you. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> today it is a brand called Riterra who contacted me. The items I'm going to show you today are gifted. I chose them all, uh, but I am not being paid for this video. Riterra are a plus size brand. They are based in America. And I should say at the outside that they do offer free returns. Um, it says in their return policy. I have just checked it this morning. I've got some lovely bits to show you. I've got two lovely cardigans, two tops and a dress. Now I should also point out that they did get my order slightly wrong. It should, they sent me two of the same top rather than two different tops which I ordered. However, I haven't actually given them the chance to rectify that because by the time I opened the package and realised that there was an error, I needed to film this video and there wouldn't have been time for them to resend it. So I haven't mentioned it to them, but I just wanted to mention that as um, obviously I want to give you my honest opinions. Now, for anybody new around here, I also always like to say this at the beginning of these videos. I am five foot three. I am a UK size 18 to 20 on the bottom and 22-ish on the top. Um, without further ado, all of that having been said, let's get into the clothes. That is what you're here for, is it not? So let's start with this lovely long line red cardigan. It's, it's sort of a berry red, a deep berry red, which is lovely for winter. I like a lovely dark red. Um, I love the length of this. Um, I got this in a 3XL. Obviously, with new brands, I always go by the measurements in the size guide. I haven't bought from Ritera before, so um, I, I do tend to look at the size guide because that gives me a clue as to where to be size-wise. As we all know, sizes can be very different across very brands, even within some brands, don't we? Um, this is lovely fabric. It's quite lightweight. It's got a brushed quality about it. I'm sure it's polyester. I don't doubt it's polyester. Polyester and spandex, which is American for elastane, isn't it? Um, or the equivalent of the same thing, but different names. A bit like um, courgette and zucchini. I digress. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's got a really nice brushed warm feel to it, but it's not too heavy. It's quite lightweight, so is isn't going to add lots of bulk because as a plus size lady, I don't like adding lots of bulk. There's plenty there already. Right, let's try it on. Okay, here we are. Um, I didn't realise this has pockets, which is a nice addition. Um, however, the pockets, I feel like, make it hang slightly oddly around those side seams it sort of bulks out a little bit um if i'm being really picky as well i've just noticed i don't know how well you're going to be able to see this because of the angle i film at in order to get my whole body into shot this is slightly shorter on this side than it is on this side um I i'm being picky to be fair but it looks as though it's not brilliantly cut. I'm just checking if I've got the shoulder seams in the same place. Yeah, I have. Um, it, it's, a, it's maybe an inch, but yeah, it feels lovely on. It feels really nice. I love the length, um, but yeah, it's not, not cut brilliantly, I have to say. Um, the pockets are a nice addition. Um, I like the fabric, um, nice long sleeve, but yeah, the, the, the actual manufacturer could be a little better, I feel. Okay, let's have a look at this one. This is, it gives me Bet Lynch vibes. <laughs> Hands up if you remember Bet Lynch. Um, I love a bit of leopard, as you know, and I liked the design of this. It's got, it's sort of a little bit waterfally. Um, it comes up a little bit at the front. It's got that sort of asymmetric hem. Um, again, it's the same fabric as this red one. It's got um, that, that lovely brushed quality without being too heavy weight. I'm sure it's the polyester and spandex again. Bear with. Yes, it is. And I think I bought this in a 3XL as well. Just looking for the size label. Now I bought this in a 2XL. Um, right, let's try this one on. Now, I think it's fair to say that I wouldn't wear this leopard print top with this shiny heart print top. That's, 
a bit too much blinginess even for me with the um, I think I'd wear it with a plain top underneath this one doesn't have pockets and I think that really helps with the way it falls weirdly this one feels a little more generously sized even though it's a size down but that's okay um, I like this one a lot better it feels nice it's um, it hangs to the same length on each side um, it's a little bit shorter at the back which is good for me with, but being of shorter stature um, yeah I really like this I think I would wear this just with an all black underneath or even over a black dress I've got like a black midi dress which I wear out sometimes in the evening I think this would make almost like a coat over that without being too heavy really like the fabric I really like this one this one is a definite hit Next, we're going to have a look at this one. You know me, I'm quite partial to a star or two. So when I saw this blue jumper with the V-neck and stars, I thought it's a bit of me, got to have this one. Um, what size did I get this in? Bear with me. This is a 2XL and this is 100% acrylic. It's fairly lightweight. Um, it looks as though it might be a little bit on the fitted side on me. We shall see. Um, I like the length though, it's not too long, which I quite often find with tops. They um, come very much too long for me with my short body. Um, I'll pop it on and we'll have a look. I was wrong, it's not too tight at all. It's a nice length, it fits fairly well. The long sleeves, I'm pushing the sleeves up of course because I always push my sleeves up and because it's quite warm in here today. Um, it's fairly lightweight, I would say, quite warm because it's acrylic. Um, it feels nice, it's nicely made, it hangs okay. Um, all the seams are in the right place and all that kind of stuff. I like this one, I think it's quite fun. I think it's about as close to a Christmas jumper as I'm gonna get, possibly. <laughs> Although never say never. Um, yeah, not bad this one at all. Next, I've got another jumper. It's this gorgeous autumnal colour palette from the, that's black, yeah, I couldn't see if that was black or just a sort of very dark brown. Um, then the sort of chestnutty brown into beige and then down into the sort of off-white, I would say. I like a big stripe or it's almost a colour block rather than a stripe, isn't it? Slightly oversized, this one. Um, this one I also got in a 2XL and this one is again 100% acrylic. It's fairly lightweight this one, feels quite nicely made, um, there's no sort of hanging threads or anything like that so that's good. Um, let's see what it looks like. Okay, now I've had to roll the sleeves back because they are way too long, I should just demonstrate. They go right down over my hand like that but as I roll my sleeves back anyway it's not going to be a problem for me. Um, I like this one very much. It's a little bit oversized, but I think that's the style rather than um, the, the sizing. I quite like an oversized jumper, as I said. It feels nice, it's nicely made, it sits quite nicely across my shoulders. Um, doesn't make my bum look too horrific. <laughs> goes right down over my thumb but not too far down my thigh so again lengthwise this is a pretty good length for me I really like this I can see myself wearing this with these boots that I've got on I don't know if you can see them the tan sort of um quite chunky boots and um, a satin skirt perhaps um for that sort of chunky boot jumper and satin skirt look the final item I have to show you is a dress this again is sort of a brushed jersey fabric the autumn colour palette I thought was so gorgeous with this again and it's got the addition of this, I don't know how well the camera's picking up that colour, there's a lot of sun to play with today. Then this colour here is sort of a quite dark teal green um, which I thought was an interesting addition. Um, I got this again in a 2XL, I'm guessing it's polyester and spandex, spoiler alert, it is indeed. Um, I liked the design of this, it looked a little bit short, I was slightly concerned it was going to be too short but I thought I'd take a chance anyway, can always put leggings on with it if I feel it's a bit short. Um, and I like the button detail down the side, it's not too heavy weight which is always good. Um, let's try it on. Very much out of my comfort zone, very much not the type of thing I'd normally wear this. Um, 
I, I don't really know if I like it or not. Be interested to know what you think about this one. I feel like the buttony seam adds weight to my hips, which are already weighty enough, let's be honest. I certainly don't need any weight added to them. I love the stripes. I've picked out the teal in the stripe and put teal tights on. I know some of you don't like coloured tights, you don't need to tell me, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I could wear it with black tights as well, I just thought the teal ones might be fun to try it with. And I am aware that the boots are the wrong length, but I like the colour of the boots. Um, I've also put a belt around the middle. <sighs> I wish it was all one length all the way round. If I turn to the side, you can see it goes up at the side and that bit there feels very short for someone of 54 and plus size. Um, it, or To me, it feels like if you feel comfortable with it, as I always say, it's about what you feel like in yourself, not what any rules say you should wear. Um, that feels too high on my leg, I would be conscious of that. The back and the front, lengthwise, I feel are pretty good. The front sits just about on my knee. Um, it feels nice fabric-wise. I like the stripes. Not sure about this side seam with the buttons, although I like the detail. Um, I'm just going to try it on with some long boots. I haven't got tan-coloured long boots, um, I just, but I think tan is a better colour. But I've got black ones, so I'm just going to pop it on with those and see what it looks like with those. Just my own entertainment, really. Right, I feel that's definitely a better length of boot, um, although I don't like the teal tights with this length of boot. I would want black tights with this length of boot just because I think it would look the same colour all the way up. Don't know why I didn't feel like that with the other boots, but never mind, it's just about what you feel like, isn't it? Still too short at the side. I think the length at the side will be the deciding factor for me. I feel like it's too short. I could wear it with leggings, but I tend to wear more smocky things with leggings that aren't cinched in at the waist. So, not sure this one's a winner. I don't think it is. Although, always nice to try things outside your comfort zone and try something a little bit different, isn't it? Right, let me just angle you back up and let's review. Um, I didn't like the red cardigan. I didn't think it was brilliantly manufactured. I loved the leopard cardigan. I will definitely, definitely be wearing that again. You'll see that in videos, I don't doubt. Um, I liked the, both the jumpers. The blue star one was fun. And the, I think my preference was the color block one. I enjoyed that one a lot. And I think, again, you'll see that in outfits of the week type videos coming up. Um, this dress, I think is a no overall, although I really wanted to like it. I love the colours, love the stripes, um, just that, that length on the side and um, does feel very bulky on the hips. But um, thank you to Ritera for sending me the items. Um, I will link everything in the description box below and I also have a discount code. All that info is down there. Just click the more button underneath this screen if you want to have a look at any of that. That is it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.